Greetings, YouTube. So I'm coming to you with this pick a pile reading. Um, if you chose pile one, then you chose you were intuitively drawn to the seashells. So let's get started with your reading. First, we're going to start off with the Star Codes Astro. And um, from this, from these oracles, I just um, shuffle the zodiac cards to see what zodiac will come out for this pile so you could possibly be a Pisces or you can have Pisces in your chart um, I will have the link to the uh, free natal chart in the description box for you all um, you can be a Capricorn or Capricorn you may have in your chart or you could be a Sagittarius, um, or you may have Sagittarius within your chart. Um, the number 12 could be of some significance. The number 10 can be of some significance. The number 9 can be of some significance as well. <coughs> Excuse me. You could be saying the numbers 12, 12. You could be saying the numbers 10, 10. Or you could be saying triple nines as well. So then I pulled some random countries for you guys so um you could possibly be from the four countries that came out were alaska egypt albania and and canada um then the states that came out were india oh uh, sorry indiana um i'm gonna put india in the countries as well because um that came up for some reason so the states are indiana oklahoma montana or new jersey so you can have um those states those countries can um you know be oh excuse me y'all i just finished eating <laughs> but it could be of some significance to you guys so moving along with you all's angel numbers. So you have a total of five angel numbers that came out for you guys. The first angel number was 4032. And it says exercising patience and perseverance in your life. The next number was 636. And it says assets. You can take material things. You can't take material things with you. Shift your focus from making money to deciding what you can do for others once you have it. Next, you received Angel number 3147, and it says, Spiritual message tells you to listen to your intuition as a guide to the path you're meant to take in life. Then you receive angel number 311, and this talks about rewards, and it says, All your hard work has been noticed. Lastly, you received angel number 1212, and it says, Your dreams are manifesting for you quickly. So, next up, we have some um, cards that you all received from the Romance Angels deck. So, the first card that came out was Engagement. And it says, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Then we have, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Then we have keep an open mind. It says your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectations. And lastly, you received give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay. Next, we have just like some um, random, this random oracle uh, card deck that I made. And the first one you the first card in this deck says, um, what is your story? We must acknowledge that while we are dealing with the same situation, we all have dramatically different tools, resources, and lived experiences. Next, you received um, the online dating things, and it says, be careful online or offline hookups um and yeah <laughs> next we have uh let's vacay like a vacation and lastly we have fight the power and that's basically my um 
my stand for something or fall for anything card next we have three cards that you all receive from the native american animal symbolism oracle this is another oracle that was created by me as well um the first card you received was the elk and this symbolizes strength agility and freedom next you received the goose and this symbolizes faithful communicative and traveler Lastly, you receive the armadillo, and this symbolizes active, nocturnal, and protection. So next we have like some random words and phrases that you all receive. So the first one says, fun times. The next card you receive was, although it hurts, I know I just can't keep running away. Next, we have lie still and cheat. Next, we have there's a magic that must be love. And then you received merry-go-round. Next, we have your archangels. And bear with me, I just made these archangel cards um, with these angel and archangel cards. Bear with me because when I tell you these names, um, I have to get used to trying to pronounce them. So, um, the first card you received was Nashel, Angel Nashel. And um, you could have a birthday that is between July 2nd through July 6th. And it um, Angel Nashel fights against evil. Next, we have Angel Sahaya. And um, you can have a birthday that is between August 7th or August 12th. And Angel Sahaya or Sahaya, Sahaya protects health. Next, we have Angel Yeratel. And you can have a birthday between August 2nd through the 6th. And Angel Yeratel fights what well, ensures justice. Next, you received Archangel. Sandifan and Archangel Sandifan is the angel of music. He rules over music in heaven and helps people on earth use music to communicate. Next, we have the Spiritual Warfare deck, and you receive four cards from this deck. So, the first card you received was the Lover card. And it says, this card basically talks about um, many times if it is not a friend or family member creating chaos through attacks, it is a scorned love interest or a karmic partner or um, a new or ex-partner of a love interest you have engaged with in the past or are actively involved with. These attacks range from breakup spells to full out infiltration what's new <laughs> next we have coven groups coven or groups and it says this card indicates that multiple people are doing magic on you at once within a friendships group family group or a coven or individually this could also indicate gang stalking Next, we have the Chords um, card, and it says, Cording or binding and spiderweb attacks are energy attacks that are designed to merge the energy field of two individuals together against free will and to bind an individual's energy to a low vibrational force. The goal is to restrict the energy centers in order for control to happen more easily. 
Lastly, you receive the water therapy card. And this says, when done regularly, water therapy is powerful for healing from attacks. The body is 70 to 80% water. Engaging in practices such as herbal baths, sauna steaming, ocean gazing, and flotation therapy can clear the, the auric field remove deep rooted debris and seal rips and tears within the energy field a powerful practice that spans centuries so yes i highly recommend spiritual baths so next we have like just some random um description uh cards that i created so um the first card says wide nose So either you, someone you think you're thinking about, maybe somebody you don't even know. Um, something about a wide nose. Then it says tall in height. Um, then the Earth card came out, and which I told you all in the beginning, one of the zodiac signs that came out was Capricorn. So um, this person could be uh, a Earth sign. Or have it in their chart or you can be an earth sign um, it says non pierced ears so this individual can probably has well doesn't have any pierced ears um, the initial R came out so this could be first middle last initial um, next we have black eyes <clears throat> And then we have medium ears. And then um, IT came out. For some reason, um, I and T came out. Um, this could be first, middle, or last initial for you you all. But what I picked up, um, IT was followed by green contacts. So I think, uh, I feel like Spirit was trying to tell me, my guys was trying to tell me it. Uh green contacts so somebody could be could wear green contacts um or i also picked up it like a it um like a computer person or whatever so this computer person could possibly wear green contacts so next we have some mental health uh exercises or oracle so the first card says do deep breath breathing exercises the next card says create a self-care plan and that goes back to um trying out spiritual baths if you haven't um next we have some rainbow words and phrases random words and phrases the first card you received was shaman the next card you received was the rune that represents restriction conflict and willpower next you receive orishas or deities next you receive lustful and after that narcissist next we have the letters u b w and x so um your first middle or last initials or someone you're thinking of could begin with um any of these letters u u v and x u v w and x next we have sacred transformation we have lions or tigers so your spirit animal could be lions or tigers. Um, then you have the rune that represents ancestry, possessions, and heritage. Next, you receive the message, make peace with your broken pieces. Next, you receive the rune that represents freedom, defense, conflict, and regeneration. And then you receive the Orisha Ogun. So that is everything I have for you, Pile 1, um, the Seashell Pile. I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, reading. If you did, make sure you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. You can comment if you choose to. And hit that bell notification to all so you can get my notification when I upload. Thank you so much for tuning in. Talk to you all later.